Hello and welcome back to another episode of my Gorilla Tag modding series. Today we're gonna be focusing on getting the base of the menu set up. If you haven't watched part 1 and 2 then go do that. But before we start, I just wanna walk through everything we're going to add to our mod today. Basically, we have the left controller input now so I want to add that when we hold the grip button and the trigger a little menu should pop up on our wrist. So let's begin shall we? We can start off by creating a new boolean value that will hold the grip button input. Now we remove the debug statement because we don't need it. Copy the line where we are getting the trigger input and change in into grip input. Don't forget to change the output variable. Now we make a check to see if the player is holding the button. Now we call a function called draw menu. We haven't made it yet but we will, and forward the underscore underscore instance variable, aka our player. Now we need to actually create the function. Now we declare a new game object, this will be the actual menu object. There's this thing called create primitive that lets us just create different shapes at runtime. Here's a short explanation. Cube is one of them. Now we set the menu object's parent to the player's left hand object, because we do not need to set the menu's position anymore after that, it just stays stuck to your arm. The player object has a lot of different properties we can play around with. We can now set that menu object's position to the hand's position. Do the exact same thing with the menu's rotation. Now we set the scale of the menu to the appropriate scale. I found this to work really well in game. The object that create primitive spawns in comes with a collider and a rigid body, aka physics. We will need to remove those components because we do not want to float in the air when enabling the menu. Now if we just let this be, it would spawn thousands of new menus every second. We do not want that so every time we spawn a new menu, we need to delete the old one. Now when we're not holding down the appropriate buttons, delete the menu. The base of the menu is now done. I will go about adding buttons and functionality in the next episode. I'm trying to make this series into small pieces so it's much 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 easier to understand everything I do. But let's test it. Remember to build it and put it in the BepinX plugins folder. Thank you. 
The scale wasn't that good maybe but I leave you to tinker with it. The three numbers at the end represent the X, Y and Z. You can also change the color of the menu using this line of code, put it under where you set the menu's position or somewhere near there. That was everything for today, remember to like the video if you want me to keep making these videos, peace out.